you stop breathing, till you stop bleeding, until your heart stops kick drum beating. When it's hard times, when it's long days, and the enemy is right up in your face. When your back's against the ropes, and you're feeling all alone. Keep fighting the good fight. Be the voice saying you're gonna make it When you're out there on your own You are never alone Keep fighting the good fight Keep letting your light shine Cause I'm never gonna leave you Always gonna see you through to the other side Keep fighting the good, fighting the good Fighting the good Bears head coach Mike Ditka is a tough, candid man. He does not use superlatives lightly. Uh, Walter Payton's more than a great athlete to me. I think that uh, everybody will recognize him for his great athletic talents and the records he set. But I, I like to look at him as a person who has given so much to the youth of our country by his example as a football player on and off the field. To me, that's what's really important. Uh, I always make one statement about Walter. I don't think he takes any more than he gives, and I think that's the... Uh, that's the true measure of a person in life. That generally is how most everyone talks about Peyton. Praise, admiration. Add it all up and you get a sincere but slightly homogenized portrait of an American hero. But that's not the real Walter Peyton. That's just the image. The real Peyton is even more surprising and exciting and full of life than that wondrous athlete inside jersey number 34. Take for example, a magnificent day for Peyton. Soldier Field, Chicago, October 7th, 1984. The stage is set for a new career, NFL rushing record. Second play of the second half of the 21-yard line. Walter needs two to break the record. High formation, quick pitch to Walter, looking for the record, cuts back, he's got it! He's out of the 25 to the 26-yard line. Walter Payton becomes the National Football League all-time leading rusher surpassing Jim Brown, and that's the equivalent to Hank Aaron breaking Babe Ruth's all-time home run record and listen to the standing ovation. One might think that Peyton would save this, this day of trial, trial, but as interviewer John Calloway discovered, Walter can be unpredictable. Would you recall for us just a couple of three moments in your football career? Can you paint a picture for us of the day you broke Jim Brown's running record? Well, you know, it really doesn't stand out. You know, I, it, it's one of those things to, to chase 
dreams, to trace uh, goals. Because the mind that you have and the hope and the brilliance of color that you can paint just by thinking and striding forward, once it happens, you know, it tends to lose some of the glimmer. But can you shine. remember? Can you remember the the game? I try and, not to. And the play? I honestly try not to. It's something that uh, that's happened. It was something that the things that, that that stand out to the most to me in my life are the small things, and such as seeing uh, my first child smile at me, seeing him take his first step. You know the friendship that I developed between me and my teammates, the laughter that we have. You know, these things stand out more. They mean more than, you know, the actual activity on the football field. And, you know, when you try to think back, it's, it's sort of like a chore. It's kind of hard to, to go back and think of the things that, that you've done, you know, because I'm, I've never been one to, uh, to blow my own horn. And when I do think back, I always think about something that somebody else did or something that, Somebody said to me that meant more to me than anything. When I was growing up, you know, Wheaties was that a thing that you associated with winners and champions. Peyton, and you say, well, I want to be able to eat Wheaties and be a champion. But the real essence of Peyton's Peyton attorney is in the human relationship, advisor, Jerry family, Ring. and friends. Connie and Walter Peyton were married in 1976. They have a son, Jared, and a daughter, Brittany. Walter Payton is probably one of the most giving and most lovable and understanding husbands around. I was just told the other day that by a couple of girlfriends that they wish they would clone him, you know, <laughs> which he politely said, no, I don't think so. They only need one of me around here. I don't think they can handle having, you know, two of me around. But that's because I, um, he can never stop giving of himself. Who are your heroes? My father, my mother. One of Peyton's best friends on the Bears is his backfield running mate, Matt Suey. He's a tremendous person. He's the type of guy that you look at, if you got a problem, if something goes wrong, I know I could turn to him and he would help me out regardless of what it would take and the amount of money he would, would spend. He'd certainly be there in times of, of need and he's certainly there when things are going very well.